life is crazy. Just when you think that you are at your lowest point and that you just can't or don't want to go any further, or that you can't go any further, you get knocked down again. That's the story of life, and it sucks. But every now and again, you don't get that kick. You don't get knocked down. You get picked up. And today was one of those days. Um, I went out to do something that I truly enjoyed. Um, I saw some people that truly bring joy to my life. Uh, different ways, of course, but it doesn't matter. It, it was a real uplifting time. Um, and uh, I enjoyed it. It raises questions a lot, but it also answers things and it brings closure and understanding and whatnot. It, it's amazing. I, uh, I, uh, <coughs> am going through a really bad situation for myself mentally. I have been for a couple of months now. Um, and I talk to people and they, they, the people are always, they're on my side, of course, because I'm their friend. And Whenever you tell people things, is you well, of course only tell them one side. There's always three sides. There's side A, from what one person says. Side B, from what another person says. Part C, what actually happened. And everybody gets this single version, and they make their assumptions that oh well, this isn't right and that's not right, and you did this to. You didn't do anything to deserve this or that. Well, I am not that person. I made mistakes. I have lied. I have made my own bed. And even with this last situation that I'm going through, I, out of anger, started this snowball that has affected my life the way it is now. And I am trying to undo everything, and hopefully it will. And hopefully things can be right and I can be happy and all of that, but I can't be happy. I personally cannot be happy knowing that people believe falsehoods. And part of what I want to do is I want to own up to my mistakes. And I, I'm sorry if I sound repetitive. I just got a lot ping-ponging around in my head today um, but yeah as bad as my life is I truly think that it is by my own doing I mean I decided to not be rational and start everything I my my lie started a chain of reactions and those ch that chain got bigger and bigger. It snowballed so bad, it's so fast and so hard. I, uh, the only way I can get any better is by accepting that, that I did this. I put myself into this position um, I accept that now it sucks but everybody is responsible for their own life and when you make split second irrational decisions out of anger or just to see if you could hurt this person just a little bit it spirals so far out of control and 
there's no reason for it. Um, my life went into total turmoil and has been for a while and it's getting better and I always blamed well I didn't do this and I didn't do that and why could this be said about me and all that but that's not where it started it didn't start from when I got arrested it didn't start when I got my PFA it didn't start when the PFA was put on me it didn't start with an argument it it started before that it started when I stopped showing the importance of what is really important I, I know that sounds kind of weird but I myself planted this seed of un, um, not uncomfort but not feeling whole it was my fault which I own I was not doing my jobs as a man as a boyfriend as whatever I was not doing my job which caused a rift that rift got bigger and bigger all because I couldn't talk I couldn't open my mouth. I couldn't communicate. Um, so that's on me. Um, sorry, I got a phone call, which is why I highlighted real quick. Um, but I started this, and I had the power all along to stop it, but I didn't. I chose to compound it, and when I compounded it, it just snowballed way out of control. So I'm trying to own up to that. But it's a work in progress, but I'll see what I can do. Day by day, minute by minute. I am doing what I can, and hopefully the pieces come back together. Because that's all I really want. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about for right now. I'll talk to you later.